Well, a fine good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I am... I'm in Burlington, Vermont today on the University of Vermont campus. And this building in front of us started life as this Billings Library. Let's see if I can show you that at all. You see that right above? Hard to say if you can see that. But I'll take a photograph of it and you can catch it on Instagram or uh, my uh, page on Facebook, Traveling for History for both of those. Prominently located on University Place, overlooking the University Green, the Billings Student Center was originally constructed between 1883 and 1885 as the Billings Library. Through the design of one of the country's most influential architects of the era, Henry Hobson Richardson. Other noteworthy examples of H. H. Richardson's works include the State Capitol in Albany, New York, Trinity Church in Boston, Massachusetts, Allegheny County Courthouse in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Sever Hall at Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Billings is an outstanding example. A Richardsonian Romanesque style of architecture. Important architectural features include its imposing reddish brown sandstone exterior with beautiful carvings, the monumental arched entrance opening, <laughs> decided to move a little bit so I could perhaps get more of the entrance in uh, in the frame for us. Uh, let's see, the black slate roof with eyebrow dormers and the two stone towers. Inside the building features an imposing entrance hall with a sandstone fireplace. Above the fireplace is a large portrait of Frederick Billings of Woodstock, Vermont, the main benefactor for the building's construction. Many of the original 1885 gas lighting fixtures remain, although the building was electrified in 1911. H. H. Richardson also designed the original furnishings of the library, including the tall, intricately carved wooden clock that stands in the main hall near the fireplace. The front steps and the surrounding landscaping were designed by the firm of Frederick Law Olmsted, who designed Central Park in New York City. In 1889, the library was extended 25 feet to the north, that's that direction, to accommodate more volumes of books in the stacks. At the same time, a 40 by 40 foot marsh room was added to the east, which is the backside of this building. This space with its beautiful sandstone fireplace was named for George Perkins Marsh of Woodstock, known for his pioneering work on environmental issues during the mid 1880s. With the completion of the Guy W. Bailey Library in 1961, the Billings Library was renovated and transformed into UVM's main student center, opening in 1963. From July 1984 to March 8, 1986, the building was closed for renovations and the construction of a large addition that connects Billings with the Ira Allen Chapel. A large student dining facility was added, along with offices and meeting rooms, for many student organizations and a large theater that extends north of Ira Allen Chapel. Ira Allen Chapel is actually right there. I remember when this was under construction for the student center um, and certainly used it as the, uh, as the Billings Student Center. Absolutely. Um, as, I, as I understand it, um, once the new, there's a new student, well, new, <laughs> new is relative. Uh, a few years ago now, uh, a new uh, student center was built and um, special collections that had started here in the Billings Library. Uh, special collections is the, um, the arm of the UV UVM's library that has the local history, so the Vermont history. And as I understand, they now occupy this building again. Unfortunately, it is closed. The students ended their final exams yesterday on December, Friday, December 17. Today is Saturday, December 18. We are under winter advisory, advisory 
for four to six inches of snow or 10 to 15 centimeters. Ick. But um, anyway, let's do a walk around to the building and, uh, and check it out. I mean, look at this beautiful tower here. Isn't that magnificent? And then they, uh, we have this smaller tower here and another one on the end there. It's really just beautiful. And this rotunda, uh, this round area right here, um, it's beautiful. I remember being in there as a student and it was just, just, just really beautiful. All right, so let's do a walk around and uh, take a look, see. Don't know if you can see the, I think you can see the snow falling. I can see it falling in uh, the camera view. So uh, it is beautiful. Streets aren't great. Sidewalks aren't bad. I think there's a snowball snow. So uh, anyway. I should get brownie points for filming in a snowstorm, shouldn't I? No? All right, well, I'll go with no. Um, all right, so let's continue. This is an imposing looking structure, I have to say. And uh, I always uh, kind of had the feeling that uh, it was disapproving. But I think that's sort of the idea of this Romanesque architecture. Have this uh, disapproving way of way about it. Look at that beautiful arch. And there we can see where it says the Billings Library right there, right? I'm sure you can read that too. In case you didn't see it, there it is again. All right. Take more of a walk up the steps here. Oh, man. Brings back memories. Wow. Let's take a closer look, see. Look at this beautiful architecture. Is this not gorgeous? Wow. I mean, look at that. I love, I love, love, love being able to take a closer look, see at this stuff and uh, shed a little light on it too in case you couldn't see it as well before oh my gosh look at this it's just really spectacular wow and look at the columns between the windows there or one column i think i said columns and then that beautiful a semi-circular window. Well, I guess it's not a window. I take that back. I bet you it was a window originally, though. <laughs> and who doesn't love that light fix? Would I be right? Holy cannoli. Wow. And, uh, We look up there. Does the light help at all? Mm, marginally. There's a the light on back there. Oops. I think you can see it. Okay, 
I've always promised I would, I would, uh, I would do better with my vocabulary, but uh, alas and lack, um, it's just not happening anytime soon. Interesting uh, marks here. You see that? I can't decide if that's supposed to be a, a pattern, like a design, or if it's tool marks. But I think it's, I think it's supposed to be a design, since it goes all the way around. All right. Let's take a uh, walk around. I'm going to pause it so I can use the handrail to uh, walk down the stairs. And, uh, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I uh, just didn't want to take a chance I might slip and fall. Given that the uh, roof is covered in snow, we can't see that it's black <laughs> or slate. But uh, I think you have the idea that it would be. It has this uh, castle-like appearance, doesn't it? I mean, I think it does anyway. But it's uh, beautiful nonetheless. It is in there. I was going to say, uh, but uh, I don't think that's correct. But if anyone knows, uh, please uh, say something, put something in the comments below. We can discuss it and figure it out together. We'll see if I can find anything in the meantime, online. I mean, it has these, uh, these uh, small slanted, uh, not slanted, these small, um, these narrow windows here, which just suggests a place where an, an uh, archer or, a, or a, a sniper would be, doesn't it? It does me anyway, but, uh, I may have played one too many sniper games over the years. <laughs> An imposing structure, no doubt. You see that? 1940? Interesting. And it looks like it's a brick right here. see. I'm, uh, I'm going to pause the, the video again so I can get down this hill. And if I slip and fall, you won't have to hear it. Be right back. All right, back again. Yeah. It's actually pretty easy peasy. I was surprised. I just walked on down. Of course, if I hadn't done that, it would have been just the time. Right? Yeah. Beautiful uh, window, uh, window array right there. I love that. Now, that certainly would have been good for uh, bringing light into the room. This was the addition in the 1980s. In fact, I had been a volunteer at the Fleming Museum, which is over yonder. It's, um, that little sliver of building that you can see right there. And we had, uh, uh, this amazing party, uh, here at the, uh, in the, uh, in the student's, um, dining hall. 
It was really lovely. Here's some more of, the, of this building, of the uh, Billings Library or Billings Student Center or whatever you remember it as. And there's that 25 foot extension on the back right there. Let's take a walk around to the other side. I'll pause this so we don't, you don't have to retrace the steps and I'll catch you on the other side. Be right back. Okie dokie, we're back where we started. So, heading off to the south side of the building, that beautiful, beautiful uh, rotunda right here. Wow, it's just so magnificent. And if I could take you inside, I would, but it's a Saturday. I can assure you, the place is closed. And the students, see, students have this weekend, I think, to pack up and leave. And then they don't come back until January 17. So, to start the January, the uh, 2022 spring semester. Wow, that's insane to even think about. Holy cow. Okay, let's keep going. The windows do go all the way around, as I recall. Also great in bringing in uh, light. And here we can see that 25 foot extension much better, can't we now? And the way back of this area it's a spectacular building it just is. And to uh, come all the way around to the far back of the building. Yeah, just stay on the grass. The grass has been my friend today which is good. And here's the back end. There's the uh, addition again on this side of it. And the back end of this building, you see another beautiful cluster of windows right there. It's facing east, so sunrise and to get a better idea again of this section right here I just love this right here all right so this is Patricia and I am traveling for history if you like the content I share with you, then please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. I upload uh, videos as of 20, December 2021 every day of the week. So you get a lot of bang for your buck, so to speak. So, but, uh, and if you decide to subscribe, and why wouldn't you, I, I would think, Make sure to click on the notification bell and you will be notified every single time I upload a brand spanking shiny new video 
just for you. So, until I see you again, you have a great night. Stay safe if you live in Vermont, because this is not a pleasant drive tonight. All right. You have a great night. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.